Okay, we got leveled up Tristana. That's a lot of damage they're taking. They're clearing up my board. They're all the way down to six now. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Tristana Poppy. Our first deck with either champion, either Tristana or Poppy. We're going to try out this one. This was difficult to put together, and I'm not exactly sure, you know, exactly how well this is going to do. But we're going to try it out here. So we're going to be using, um, besides Bandle, Demacia is going to be our other region. Um, with both Tristana and Poppy, well, okay, so for Tristana, you want to play a lot of multi-region allies. The thing is, is there's not that many very good multi-region allies, especially under three mana to be playing round one, round two. Um, yes, yeah, so that's so that's what I'm kind of worried about. You know, there's not like really very good ones. Like there, there are a couple that we could have. Um, like there's the the one mana Poro that's uh, multi-region. Where's this guy at? Proto Poro. That's not that good of a card, you know? Just a little one mana, one one. And so when I was building this, it was more difficult to put together than I thought because it's really more difficult to put those multi-region allies together than I thought. But we're gonna have, so we're gonna have Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Seal Protector for our early stuff. Of course, Fleet Feather Tracker loves having Poppy in here, even like Tristana for later getting, uh, no, never mind. Tristana will not get that plus one plus zero, but for the uh, Poppy. Anyway, so we'll have those two to start with. Um, Bandle Commando is going to be a two drop, another two drop that likes both champions that will also make these hungry owl cats. So these owl cats will kind of be like our, our cheap, um, multi-region allies that will be able to help out both champions. Loping Telescope, that card's pretty good. Then Bandle City Mayor, making our multi-region units cost one less. So that does include champions. So that means like Poppy can cost three mana after the mayor, but then also the mayor will be making some multi-region followers for us. Tenor of the Terror, I'm pretty excited about. This is a card just kind of perfect. You know, always, you know, play a creative card, but yeah, that's going to be two different uh, multi-region allies for us. And a Poro Sled. And then we're going to have two copies of the Bandle Tree at the top end for like an alternate win condition. If we're playing against like a control deck that's killing all of our stuff, or if we're not going to be able to get through, you know, maybe we can just kind of play defense well enough and have the Bandle Tree uh, help us do some work, summon units from 10 regions. I want to try that, that card out. And then with Demacia, we'll have Sharp Sight, Prismatic Barrier, Golden Ages, Repost, right? Really good quality spells from Demacia. And I'll also try some Pokey Sticks in here, because that card's pretty good. All right, so that's our deck. We'll see how it works. Hopefully, it does pretty good. We're we'll playing. I have another Poppy deck with Elites that we'll probably be playing tomorrow. Yeah, Poppy Elites. And so that's going to be like an all Demacia Poppy deck with Vanguard, Bannerman, and, and a whole bunch of Elites. So that'll be interesting to try that out. But. Let's see what we could do with some multi-region allies. It just kind of feels like they're missing a few multi-region allies for this kind of deck. All right, well, it's a good-looking opening hand, but we are facing Draven Scion. Draven Scion, pretty awesome. All right, so they started by discarding Fallen Rider right away. Mama's home. Let's cook them. Yeah, 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 it's Draven time. Um, the Charger does a good job blocking the the Risen Rider. Boom, ba boom. I'm passing for now. All right, another boom, ba boom. Have the mayor get in there. I 
should make a speech. Uh, where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Now we're cooking. Let's cook it. Absolutely. Top hole. All right, taking four from the Draven. Trading off some other stuff. So what am I going to want to play next round? Poppy or Tristana? I kind of want to play Tristana. All right, what do we have for a champion spell? The thing that can kill Draven. Kind of have our own Draven with this 33 quick attack. Alright, got an Owl Cat. So we're close to leveling up Tristana now. Only need one more. Poppy will finish that out. Fortunately, this thing's slow speed. That's so that's pretty big downside. Kind of need fast speed stuff. Watch and learn. Kind of need fast speed stuff. Time for the money makers. All right, so that will level up Draven. Yep, that's how life is. The two two mana cards that we have together, the two removal spells could kill a Draven. I'm gonna play Poppy. Prismatic Barrier is good. So this thing now has Impact 2. It already discarded two Scions. I was really hoping they didn't have a third Scion. Tie on. Draven down. Hammer, follow me. Serving lead. Okay, so you need this thing to attack first. So that its ability will happen first and put the Poro in play and then Pop Poppy will buff the Poro. This most likely will not end well for us. But I'm still gonna try it. I'm just doing the best I can, you know? <laughs> this most likely doesn't end well for us. They blocked correctly. They did very well with the block. They need to, basically they just have to keep the flame chompers alive and I die. Yep, and then Scion 
wins the game with the Overwhelm. If I could block with my Poppy on the Scion, I could stay alive at one. Oh, actually, no, because then they have that thing also. So, yep, like I said, that wasn't going to work out for me. But we got to do a cool attack. Scion's quite strong. My opponent did a great job drawing Scion. They had three of them. We discarded two and had a third still. Hero. Okay, a Darkness deck. Let's see how we do against Darkness. I haven't played against very much Darkness today. Good hand. Good hand, though. We have a, a good 1, 2, 3 to start with. And then... Um, you know, the Bandle Tree to help us in the, the late game. card's ridiculous. So yeah, this thing does nothing now. <laughs> does absolutely nothing now. So I guess that's the one drop that I was missing, right? Like, I played that, I played a different, the one mana two one that created like a little tiny shield, tiny spear in my Senna Vagar deck. I think the Otter Puss, I like that. I think that's the way to go of creating Otter Pusses to make pranks to help you out. Okay, so they gave that minus one power again. So I was going to be able to get one power again with the Tristana, but not anymore. Now it really is dead. Yeah, I think they have, I think they have a good start for their Senna Vagar list. I think these are good, good cards to play together. That's the spell they made? Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, they got a good deck. Oh. Alright, that was a complete waste. For some reason, in my mind, this was a multi-region ally that was going to be buffing up the Tristana. But that's not the case. So that was just a complete waste of mana. So my best chance of winning this game, I think, is the Bandle Tree. I don't think that I can do 20 damage to them. So this is already Targon. We're going to have Bilgewater here. We'll take Piltover and Zahn here. That's three. Lifesteal guy? Yeah. Ixtali Traveler? Sentinel. I like their Vagar Center list, though, with these, these kind of cards. I like it. And sure, it could be attacking, but there's not really any use to attacking, so I'm not doing 20 damage. I'm j I'd rather just sit back and basically play defense and try to finish this out with some defense. We gotta make four mana units all the time, don't we? The elements bind the living and the dead. Alright, so that's Freljord. We're halfway there. Whoa. Shadow Isles. 
It's the first time you slay a unit with a spell. Do something cool. Well, we're not doing that. Nice! That attacks puts the Shadow Isles into play? That's good deck building right there. Easy does it. Persistence is key. So that's gonna be six. We'll have Bilgewater and Ionia this round, so I'll be seven and eight. I will shake death as easily as clay. We owe this land our lives. So we need two more. We need Noxus and something else. Make the darkness your own. Uh, but I guess we're dead, aren't we? <laughs> we don't need room for navigator. All we need is just the one. But I guess that does kill us. Hmm. Yeah, these Ex Extali Sentinels. I even had them discard an Extali Sentinel, but I guess they had the other two. So those, you know, just dealt the dam Nexus damage, and now this will round start, create darkness, and it does Nexus damage. Yeah, that's too bad. It was close. We were close. The ocean whispers her secrets. That would have been Noxus. We basically just needed to not die this round. If we just didn't die this round, we would have won the game. Life is but we did die this round. Just took 20 damage from darkness. GG's. We made them discard a sentinel and they had two other sentinels. Those were kind of the only cards, two cards that killed us. So we got Poppy Timo. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly how good this deck was going to be. It really does feel like we're missing... We're missing some stuff for Tristani. I think that Tristani and... To a lesser extent, Poppy, but mostly Tristani. I think Tristani is probably going to be better the more um, sets that we get. Or I guess the more expansions we get in this set. Right now feels a little off. Round start, create in hand a fleeting copy of a non-fleeting spell you cast last round. Now let's just make that telescope. We'll just go infinite with telescopes. Alright, at least it wasn't make it rain. Yeah, I think, yeah, not... Poppy's still good, right? Like, it wasn't really about Poppy. It's really more about the multi-region stuff in Tristana. Yeah, I shouldn't have lumped Poppy in there. Oh, I'm prepared, traitor. Oh, we've already done Targon? Right, because these things are Targon. Maybe we should have grabbed this charger. I got the, grabbed the charger because it's so cheap. It's good to be the king. Man, they went crazy with this mayor. They just spent they just played eight mana worth of <laughs> allies here. This round. We're at three out of four, right? Yeah.
They're doing some trading. All right, let's reset. So unfortunately with playing the Bright Steel Protector, I don't get either of these five mana cards in play. Felt like that was the thing to do. This is what we protect, furballs. Like I could attack, but if I attack, they just yeah, like they're just gonna replace stuff anyway. Yes, like they they want the room as well. So their bandle tree is much better than our bandle tree right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're at seven. Oh, I guess it says right there on the card seven. I'm at four. Yeah, there's a little better. Ooh, get a darkness. So many tiny. I am here until I am no Oh, and then that's number nine. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, they were a better, better Bandle Tree deck than we were. Because then that's just game over. Well, I want to see Bandle Tree's cool animation. Hello, best friend. Wait, shouldn't that just be game over? Oh, round. Okay, it doesn't check till round start. Interesting. It's not like I can do anything to help win the game or anything. Before that. The cards we've been creating have been like the same regions we've been playing. Even this. Freljord that made a Piltover and so on. I already got both of those. Alright, good game, opponent. So we're not winning any games, but we're seeing cool interactions and cool cards and stuff. You know, it's just something new. That's even a new Bilgewater card, which was their last region. There we go, there's the Bandle Tree. Never defeated, never backing down. Wait, what happened? And maybe that's what I need to be doing. Maybe I have too many, like maybe just playing Fleet Feather Tracker and Bright Steel Protector. Like, you know, Fleet, Fleet, Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector, as we saw that game, didn't really matter. Maybe I just need to be focused completely on Bandle Tree. Maybe that's the way to go with Tristana, is you just have to just only focus on Bandle Tree. That round four that my opponent had was crazy, where they played four units, eight mana worth of units, round four. That was pretty crazy. Teemo Caitlyn. What's up, Adam? Yeah, games are going great. Games are going very good. Thanks for joining. Well, this isn't going so good so far. This isn't a good trade for me, but it's a better trade than, you know, like a static shock or whatever. <laughs> sure, just have another Teemo. Teemo. 
So I've had to have played a creative card for this. Armed and ready. This. All right, Attention. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Rude. So this next round we're going to be able to go pretty wide. I guess I gotta play this card. I did my best. On foot. I'll never see these coming. I don't have a speech here. Where did I put it? That's okay, Mayor. Just no. start applauding, furballs. <laughs> that minus one cost was really important. Okay, we got leveled up Tristana. We're only at four regions right now for the Bandle Tree. That's a lot of damage they're taking. They're clearing up my board. They're all the way down to six now. Oh, we hit those two traps really fast. Both these poison darts for afterwards. Six. So I imagine both po poison darts are going, yeah, at that thing. And we'll use Bright Steel Protector to make sure it stays alive. Of course, they just get to kill the 3 1. We need Noxus, Bilgewater. Um, what else we need? Get a lot of these Buster shots. There's Bilgewater. That's seven mana. But Mention of the Stones is three power as far as trying to kill them this round. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. I don't I don't like this play by me by playing the mentor. I think I should have gone Pokey Stick and Buster Shot and Sharp Sight, like have those three you know, three cards for six mana. Now playing this, I only have one other card for six mana. Yeah, this wasn't a good. This was not a good play. Yeah, that was that was good. Yep, not a good play. I need to kill that thing. 
But I'm get I'm glad I continue to cast these Tristana champion spells so that we can that we're continually putting Tristanas back into the deck when we draw the Tristanas that don't have any puff caps. That's the hope. Hopefully that Tristan is like one of the top two cards. And we can redraw it and it has no puff caps. Ionia is another one we need. So we need Noxus, Ionia, Bilgewater, and something else. I sure do have a lot of mushroom clouds, but not quite ten car ten clouds per card. Not quite. Oh yeah, we still do need Piltover and Zon. I was thinking we had it. But I guess we do not. Hello there. Please don't kill me. We drew seven puff caps out of those two cards, even though it's less than two cards, two puff caps per card on average. We did a terrible job drawing puff caps there. I think we're actually gonna win. Tristana getting a win. Wow, we got a win. All they needed was to get excited. Did not have it. And we're one and three. All right, back to Draven Scion. A deck that's super impressive. Our Draven Scion that we played yesterday was really, really good. So let's see. We're going to Mulligan. Mul I mean, this card's good. Mulligan these two. Well, if this works out, if the Commando strikes their Nexus, this could be a pretty decent hand. Oh, Sai Goomba, I was playing against you? I didn't notice. And you just drew Karina. If we didn't open attack, you would have had Karina kill us with all the puff caps. Wow. Yeah, I just kept on casting Tristana champion spell and drawing new Tristana and so on. Rinse, repeat. So I think with this deck, just kind of moving forward, I think you have to be... I think Bandle Tree's kind of the card to just build the deck around. I guess I'm going with this Shark Trainer. It's just, I'm already going to have Demacia, already going to have Frel Yord. Is Yordle Ranger just that much better, though, than Shark Trainer? Well, maybe not. I'll take a Shark Trainer. Make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. <laughs> Just gonna play the huge 5 5 blocker. Try to disincentivize them from attacking. Which does not look like it's going to work. This card is awesome. This deck is, is pretty awesome. I 
tech is pretty awesome. Sultan stitches to awaken the blood within. Today's the day I find that hero. Yeah, their deck's really good. Draven Swain is kind of too good for us. I guess I could have challenged Draven and dealt two damage to it and then Pokey stick the other two damage with the other damage, but. Because we're definitely not going to be able to stop a Scion if they play a Scion. Yeah, discard. Yeah, this is definitely a lot better than like Draven Jinx was before. But it's you know it's different. It's it's not just like all aggro. I mean it kind of is, but you know it goes a lot bigger. It's it's different. It's not. I don't know. It's a little different. I kind of feel like that's what the best way to win with this deck, though. Is as we see, getting twenty damage across is really really difficult. I think the Bandle Tree is the way to go, and just build the deck defensively and have like all the units be you know try to be act defensively and stuff like that and try to win with bandle tree i think that's a real win con from what we've been seeing in these games that bandle tree is is a real deal So they have a Scion we lose if they don't they just know the heroes we have a here chance somewhere. deck has so much card draw though I can't imagine they haven't found a Scion yet alright that wasn't a Scion and so the repost means the poppy will be buffing everything attack with this thing first. So I need this to attack first, so this makes the Poro, and then this happened to give the Poro the plus one plus one. And yeah, I figured that that was going to trade, which is why I wasn't scared of attacking with the Poro sled. This commando making these little owl cats has been really nice. Please do not play Scion. Well, good game. Both teams played hard. My only way to stay even a little bit alive is to play this Poro Sled. No, Thermogenic Beam does not uh, get any better if you have minus one cost from Senna. No, it's still it's the exact same card. That kills the 6-4. Golden Age just doesn't look too good. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get the short tooth attacking last last round I could have and I didn't up, Top hole. oh wait they challenged that poro sled they smart that was the correct challenge now this game's over 
Because now... To get that thing back. We're down to two. Alright, Draven Scion too good. That deck's awesome. Okay, so I built this deck kind of like a, you know, like a curve out, attack a good amount kind of deck. And I feel like that's not what you need with Tristana Poppy. And so, honestly, kind of the Poppy was kind of unnecessary. Um, but it, it is like a multi-region champion. However, I kind of feel like the way to do this is just, like, as far as Tristana goes. Because Tristana, you have to play all these multi-region allies. I think that's probably the best way to play Tristana is go go hard on bandle tree you know maybe go like five you know go three copies of bandle tree you can even you can play you know you don't have to play three poppies maybe you play like a poppy and a lulu and a fizz or timo right you just kind of maybe a zigs you know split up the other ones maybe even not three tristana maybe you just go like one of all of these things basically maybe you just put all six of them together and just make it a complete bandle tree deck is there a way to like draw? Is there a way to like draw a landmark, like tutor up the landmark from the deck? Targon has that, so if you'd have to go Bandle, Bandle Targon has like the draw a landmark to make sure you can draw Bandle Tree, and so maybe yeah. So I I kind of feel like that's maybe like the way to go is you know basically make this, you know like you're just going with one of each of these, and kind of just really try to win with Bandle Tree, and just go with like all the multi-region followers. I guess you could play Heimer instead of Teemo, but I think I'd rather have Teemo because it's cheaper. I kind of think that's that's maybe the way to go. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Tristana Poppy. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you got ideas for like what to do with like this kind of deck though, for like, you know, a Tristana Poppy curve out deck, Feel free to let me know in the comment section, but I think like our our whole plan of like Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Seal Protector, that whole plan just didn't look too good. It didn't look like it worked out too well. I think that next time I try this, I'll, I'll try a, a full on Bandle Tree deck here in the future, and that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try like a lot more one ofs and and try to summon the ten regions and win with Bandle Tree. Like that's the way to go. All right, but that's gonna be it here though for Tristana Poppy. So as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.